Well, guys, today Virgin Orbit demonstrated that SpaceX is not the only company in private spaceflight to have a few surprises up their sleeves. Apparently, as a demonstration to make sure that everybody understands that this is not a company that's looking to sell some technology, some airplanes, and leftover equipment, but rather a company that still has an active operations division, Virgin Orbit just released this clip of their technicians putting together a Newton 3 engine on their latest rocket. This actually doesn't come as a tremendous surprise to me, because all the time that I was in Cornwall, the Virgin Orbit engineers and technicians were talking about how urgently they needed to get back to Mojave in order to complete the rocket they were working on for their next mission out of California. This was a rocket that was nearly complete several months ago, and even with their staffs cut back as much as it is, Virgin Orbit is obviously capable of still completing the assembly of this rocket and presumably integrating the payload and subsequently launching this rocket into orbit. Now, if they can actually pull this off, it should increase the chances of this company being sold to somebody in the near future. Indeed, even this demonstration shows that Virgin Orbit is far more than a company with a few leftover components that's being sold to the highest bidder. Rather, it's a company that has enough employees remaining to at least assemble their one remaining rocket and launch it. Now, they aren't going to be able, in my opinion, to continue manufacturing or anything else that they've been working on, given the fact that they've laid off 85% of their employees. But keep in mind, many of their employees were dedicated to the expansion of Virgin Orbit's operation and increasing their launch cadence, building more rockets than they were before, converting at least three additional 747s into new carrier aircraft for Launcher 1, and also the necessary sales and PR staff to try to expand the customer base across the globe. Given that they aren't working on that right now, but just trying to stay barely operational until they get sold off, I think that this demonstrates that Virgin Orbit's leadership is absolutely determined to see to it that this company survives in some form, and that it's far more attractive for a buyout. And in my opinion, if they can manage to get this rocket off the ground, and if they successfully deploy a number of satellites for customers who have been waiting quite some time for this to happen, well, that accomplishment alone will secure the future of Virgin Orbit with some new owner. At least I'll be very surprised if somebody doesn't buy them if they can pull this off at the 11th hour. Stay tuned for more developments, and as always, stay angry! about space.